Right now, sunken ship, the Coast Guard believes the missing cargo ship in the Bahamas sank as debris and bodies are found in the ocean. Meanwhile, the search continues this afternoon for the other missing crew members. CBS 4's Gabby Fleischman is live at the Coast Guard station in Opalaka with more. Gabby. Elliot, the Coast Guard tells us that they did find one person dead floating in the water. They also found a lot of debris, including one of the lifeboats from that ship. They say it was destroyed and there were no signs of life. It's been almost 100 hours since that ship sank. Still, the Coast Guard says they are holding out hope and they're continuing their search for potential survivors. We are still looking for survivors or any signs of life. On day four of a tireless search and rescue effort, the U.S. Coast Guard announcing a cargo ship that got caught in Hurricane Joaquin is likely at the bottom of the Atlantic in waters 15,000 feet deep. We are assuming that the vessel has sank. Uh, we believe it sank in, in the last known position that we recorded on Thursday. Late Sunday night, search teams found a body floating in the area where the ship disappeared, northeast of Crooked Island, Bahamas. In one of the survival suits, uh, we did identify human remains. The person was unidentifiable, but is believed to be one of the 33 crew members who were on board El Faro when it sank. The U.S. Coast Guard says their search for potential survivors is still in full force, focusing on two debris fields 60 miles apart, where they found wreckage over the weekend, including life jackets and one of the ship's two lifeboats. We've modified our search efforts to focus more on potential people in the water, Lifeboats. The 800 foot vessel carrying shipping containers and cars was headed from Jacksonville to Puerto Rico Thursday when it lost power and started to take on water. El Faro was being battered by severe wind and waves near the eye of the storm and lost communication. If the vessel did sink and that crew was able to abandon ship, they would have been abandoning ship into a category four hurricane. So you're talking up to 140 mile an hour winds, seas upwards of 50 feet. Those are challenging conditions to survive in. The U.S. Coast Guard says the crew on board was well trained and they believe their experience might help them survive. Family members are holding out hope, praying for the safe return of their loved ones. I just praying to God they bring them all home. Blame that's to be done is on the hurricane, not the captain. And the Coast Guard says they'll continue to search throughout the day and night. The National Transportation Safety Board will be picking up the investigation to try and figure out exactly why the ship sailed straight into the storm instead of turning around and heading for land. We're live from Opalaka, Gabby Fleischman, CBS 4 News.